Kate Middleton and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, were both victims of the same malicious invasion of their privacy. The Duchess of Cambridge landed back on British soil on Wednesday night after a whirlwind two-day solo visit to Denmark. She travelled with her Royal Foundation's Centre for Early Childhood to learn firsthand about the Danish approach to early childhood development. She was also reunited with Queen Margaret II and Crown Princess Mary at Christian IX's palace on Wednesday. The trip comes as Kate, and other senior royals, continue to fill Her Majesty's shoes as she steps back from the front line ever so slightly. At 95, the Queen has stripped back her engagement calendar after a series of health scares in the last few months. This week, the monarch postponed several virtual engagements after testing positive for COVID-19 on Sunday. She is said to be experienced mild, cold-like symptoms. Among those stepping up to the plates are the Cambridges, the Waleses and the Wessexes. Both Kate and Sophie hail from middle-class backgrounds, and married into the royal family as commoners. Yet they share a much deeper bond, too. Both were victims of horrific invasions of their privacy early in their royal lives. Just weeks before Sophie married Prince Edward in 1999, topless photos of her on holiday were published in The Sun. The photos had been taken 11 years earlier when Sophie, working for Capital Radio at the time, had traveled to Spain with colleague Chris Tarrant and his co-presenter Cara Noble. Ms. Noble sold the photo, and a series of others, to the newspaper for a reported £40,000. She was subsequently sacked from her job, and later issued an apology, while the son acknowledged their own wrongdoing too. They apologized with the headline sorry, Sophie and donated all sale proceeds to her charities. Some 13 years down the line, French celebrity magazine Closer printed pictures of the Duchess of Cambridge sunbathing topless during a chateau holiday in 2012. Little more than a year into William and Kate's marriage, a photographer used a long-range lens to snap images of the Duchess holidaying in private. The Cambridges sued the French magazine for £1.3 million, and demanded a further £42,000 in damages from local newspaper La Provence, who had also published pictures of the royals holidaying in private. Both royal couples were severely affected by the photographs. In a statement read out to the French courts, Prince William said, In September 2012, my wife and I thought that we could go to France for a few days in a secluded villa owned by a member of my family, and thus enjoy our privacy. We know France and the French and we know that they are, in principle, respectful of private life, including that of their guests. The clandestine way in which these photographs were taken was particularly shocking to us as it breached our privacy. William added that the photographs were all the more painful given the way that his mother had died, and the harassment she had suffered at times. Sophie, meanwhile, was devastated by the photos of her. Dr. Anna Whitelock, a royal historian and commentator, told Channel 5's 2020 documentary Edward and Sophie, the reluctant royals that the photo was considered a vile, malicious intrusion of privacy. Murray Harkin, who ran a PR firm with Sophie at the time, said, I remember Sophie ringing me in the early hours of the morning, in floods of tears, when she discovered that the son had bought the picture and was planning to publish it. She was so upset because she felt that she was letting the side down before her wedding. Yet, despite the initial heartbreak, Sophie took the situation in her stride and kept her head held high. Rebecca English, the Daily Mail's royal editor, told the documentary, I've spoken to a friend of hers who was with her when the story broke. They saw her heart break. But equally, and I think this is a very interesting aspect of Sophie's character, she very much thought the show must go on. She held her head up high. She knew she had done nothing wrong. Mr. Harkin said Sophie would have been there for Kate upon the publication of the photos. He said in 2012, Sophie will be a shoulder for Kate to lean on. I expect that she will have been in touch with Kate already. Sophie has grown into one of the most cherished members of the royal family in the last two decades, as she and Edward have emerged as a stable pair of hands capable of steering the royal ship. She has frequently been praised for her ability to represent the firm without attracting unwanted headlines.